Hey guys, so today I'm going to make a card and here are two different examples just using different pattern paper. Um, I'm participating in a swap so I had to make eight of these. So I thought why not and go ahead and share how I made one. So we'll put the eighth one together. This comes out of the occasions catalog and you can find it on page 32 and 33. And what I'm going to be using is obviously the stamp set, the designer series paper, the cardstock pack, and the coordinating dies, the framelits. Okay, so the things you will need if you want to recreate this card is obviously the stamp set. And I put a little sticker here knowing that tells me that these have coordinating dies, or I have them. Um, that way when I'm flipping through my stamps, I know that they have dies in case in the future I forget. And here are the coordinating dies. So the inks we are using are Watermelon Wonder, Soft Suede, Chocolate Chip, Peekaboo Peach, Pool Party. You are going to need some Stampin' Dimensionals, some Tombow Mono Glue, A2 size card base, and I am using Whisper White. Out of the Designer Series Pack, you will need any pattern of your choice, five and a half by three and a half. I'm using this one. It's kind of uh, the sprinkles. Then I cut two strips of coordinating designer series paper from the same pack that comes in the Tasty Treat Suite. And these are five and a half by a half an inch. And for our sentiment piece, I have a piece of Watermelon Wonder. It's two and five eighths by inch and a half. Now I have a piece of scrap paper down here on my surface. Now I don't have all the cardstock to go with my coordinating ink. Um, and the cardstock I do have, I want to keep for card bases. So for little things like this for your die cut, you can use your ink to create the color you want. Now for my little bowl, as you can see here, this is a piece of designer series paper that came in the suite. So here it is. And there's that confetti um, pattern we were going to use. So what I did was I just simply took the die and I cut it out of the designer series paper and there's your bowl. Now for the little frost, uh, not frosting, but chocolate syrup, I used chocolate chip. Now what I did was I took, let's move that out of the way, I just took a piece of cheap old scrap white cardstock that I have and I did an ink dauber and what I did was I just did a little bit of ink blending. Now, the different inks will blend differently. The chocolate chip, mine at least, blends really nice. Um, it moves on the paper and being this is cheap cardstock, it moves really well. Some of the other colors might not move as well, but you know, this is such a small area that it's not a big deal to me. So what I do is I just ink blend it and then here's my dye for my little um, chocolate syrup and then I would die cut it. So that is what I did for, let me grab my pieces here. That is what I did for my little, my hands are all inky, my little, um, why can't I think of this? Chocolate syrup, hello, I keep wanting to call it frosting. So those are my frosting pieces and I use chocolate chip to create that color. And it looks just like the cardstock. It's just a, a good way to stretch your supplies when you don't have everything. Or when you don't have a card stock, you know, a color you want. Use the ink you have to create that color. So I did the, the ink blending with the chocolate syrup and I also did it with my spoon. I had used soft suede. Um, if I was doing this over, I probably would have used more of a gray because spoons are typically silver in color. And then for my little ice cream scoops, I used Peekaboo Peach, 
Watermelon Wonder, and Pool Party. Now, here, they're perfect circles. And I use the, the Occasions catalog as my guide. I was kind of looking at this to kind of um, case what they did here, at least in putting it together. And I'm like, okay, well, they have little scoops. How did they get that? Because in the dies, we don't have a complete circle. So what I did, and what I, what I assume they did, is they used the little ice cream topper. Now, if you notice, like that one, I completely didn't die cut the little scalloped edge here because I wouldn't need that. Once it was glued to my bowl, you wouldn't see it. So why waste the cardstock um, when I was ink blending? So that's how it looked. So I went ahead and cut them out using this. And then I went ahead and put all my pieces together. Oops. And these just fit so nicely on the top there. I looked at the little spoon, just glue that to the little bowl. And I kind of set this stuff to dry. And then I'll go ahead and put my card together. So I'm gonna go ahead and stamp my sentiment. And for that, I am using chocolate chip with my Watermelon Wonder cardstock. And I've already taken out the Happy Birthday sentiment. There are several sentiments in here that would work. You're the cherry to my Sunday. You're sweet. You're cool. I went ahead and went with happy birthday. Go ahead and stamp that down. Perfect. So I have that. We'll put that aside. And then let's go ahead and take my card base with my two strips and you can use tape adhesive for this um, I like the glue because it gives you a little bit of wiggle room since these are small strips you're working with it's nice to kind of be able to line it up once it's on your cardstock And then here I am taking my little confetti. And I will go ahead and glue that. Just getting glue on the edges so none of it curls up since I am using glue adhesive. The tape adhesive, it's nice in the way that in the sense that you can get right up to the edge and not worry about any seeping out and stuff like that. So I line it up. And go ahead and press that down. Then I go ahead and take my stamping dimensionals, move my die out of the way before I lose it forever, and just use a couple for the sentiment. And go ahead and line that up. set that aside and we'll go ahead and start putting our little ice cream together now this set does come with sprinkles um, if I was only making one of these cards I definitely would add sprinkles but with eight um, I didn't really want to bother the sprinkles are adorable um, and they do have a stamp and a die Ooh, do you hear the thunder? <laughs> My cats have left me. They are hiding. 
and I want to make sure when I adhere these that none of the bottom part here is showing. So I will have to trim off the edges, like here, because it will overhang, but that's not a big deal. Leaving a little bit of this scalloped border, what was the scalloped border, allows you to that to be your um, glue area where you glue it. You know, you add the glue and then adhere it to your ice cream bowl. You don't want to cut that part completely off. So go ahead, I'm going to go ahead and let this dry for a couple minutes before I trim anything off. All right, so now that it's had a chance to dry, I'm going to go ahead and tr not trim off my spoon. <laughs> trim off the edges here. Go ahead and add a couple dimensionals. And then go ahead and pop this up. And then that completes the card. Really, uh, once you get everything cut out and fast, doing one card goes a lot faster than doing eight. Stay tuned, I'll be bringing you more ideas using this adorable stamp set. I just love it. So many possibilities and so much inspiration out there. Um, if you're interested in any of the products I used, everything will be listed below as well as the link to my shop. So let me know if you have any questions and I will catch you guys next time. Bye.